girl mommy dearest and welcome to my youtube channel if you're a returning subscriber welcome 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 if you're new to this channel you know what to do click that like button click that subscribe button because of course you're gonna like what i'm doing and if you're a returning subscriber you know the drill already like you genuinely know the drill already Cha, you're making noise so um guys in the background there's my little brother who likes playing so if he makes noise from time to time please don't mind him try and ignore him and try and listen to my lessons and then like i'm in my room so the room is like close to the door like the house door so you can literally hear my neighbors like my neighbor's music i hope like it's not loud enough for a copyright now but it's there so i think i have to add like my own background music at the back so it like you know it washes down their music because listen i hope you can hear that so today i'm going to be basically telling you eight things i wish i knew before starting a youtube channel so basically this is your youtube kit if you want to start a channel if you're thinking about it if you already have a channel this is very important to like learn and listen to because maybe these are some tips that um you need to succeed tips you need to yeah like encourage you maybe to start one uh tips you need to like encourage you to, to encourage you to continue doing what you're doing so the first thing is everyone's journey is different and by that i mean is that everyone's rates of success are different you have to walk in your lane and stay in your lane um don't compare how fast your channel grew to the next person or like to anybody don't compare it to other youtubers don't compare it to like nobody because everyone's journey to success is different other people it takes them longer and then when they hit it they just oh they skyrocket other people it's like a slow like it's like a it's like how can i put it like you know they grow like they just grow and growing 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 but like, other people like there's no growth and then boom growth other people they just grow i feel like i'm those people like my 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 growth has just been like it's been it's been like consistent like I, i've had consistent growth and then other people they just boom like from the get-go like start their channel today and then tomorrow they're already big i can give you examples uh lebu rampedi uh uh kaya kaya also known as adiola also her channel was like a boom it was like a boom type of thing you see so and then slow growth i can give you like you know like that didn't go through like my type of growth there's like tato rampedi's channel and then for people who like had no growth at all and then boom success i can give you a good example which is king omar like uh our godfather himself you know so um yeah so stay in your own lane walk your walk don't compare your channel to other people's channel because all you're gonna do is depress yourself and discourage yourself and it's important to stay encouraged when you're a youtuber you can't have moments of like discouragement speaking of that i forgot <laughs> i'm gonna forget oh thank you guys for 40,000 subscribers i really appreciate it this video is basically to celebrate 40k and the shame like my the things i learned to get where i am in the past six months so thank you so much for that um thank you so much for keeping me encouraged and everything like that i know i haven't posted a video a video in a while and that's just because i don't know guys anyways um two uh number two is to find your niche so find something that makes you unique what makes king omar's uh, channel different from other people's channels it's his challenges his smash or passes his rate me's his uh, life tinder that content makes him him because he found something that no one was doing in south africa and he did it himself tato rampedi what makes his channel i'll give you examples of people who are on 100k what makes his channel unique what is his niche where did he look and see that there is no there's nothing happening there and he decided to make a market there was no dating show or go youtube or if there was it wasn't it wasn't banging banging and so he decided to make a youtube dating show um and it's it's it, it it is 
what it is looking from jollo it's looking from jollo you know who doesn't know looking from jollo now you see like she's already planning season four as we speak i don't know if i'm allowed to say that but okay okay <laughs> and then uh, the third big person that i know personally that i can tell you is um kanya goes Kubi. He found a market in pranks and it's working for him. He's almost close to 200k because he saw that nobody's doing like pranks like that. Oh, people who are doing pranks are normally couples. Let me do pranks. And he's doing pranks and it's working out for him. Life is doing great. Like business is flowing. So find your niche. You can't just come now on YouTube. You already know what this person is doing pranks. Okay, you can do pranks, but what makes your pranks different from this person? what makes them so special you know like you can do like if you're taking an idea from somebody or you're being inspired by somebody put your own salt like your own seasoning in it like so that people watch you like put your own spice because like i'm a vlogger <laughs> and uh the biggest vlog channel in essay is just daddy g's vlog channel so just daddy g's like i'm a vlog and it's bright for him and he vlogged and then i was like i gotta start a youtube channel what am i gonna do so i took inspiration from that and i started a vlog like it's not a vlog channel but like basically guys it's me being me my channel is basically me being me it's nothing like hectic it's just me Mpo doing poor and doing poor her best way so you're growing with me like it should be real i should i should actually like come up with the phrase like road to something road to success but i'm a baby so yeah so find your niche Oh, this video is going to be long, but you guys need this. You need all this tea. Um, three, it takes time out of your life. Yes. I didn't think YouTube consumed as much time as it did, but it does. Because you have to take time out of your busy schedule, especially if you're doing big videos. Like if you're doing like production-based videos, for example, um, if you're doing a gold digger prank, you need to find the cars, you need to do the this, you need to, like, there's a lot that goes into it. If you're doing looking for Mjolo, you need to plan it, you need to, you know, like there's a, it takes time out of your life and money, time and money out of your life. If you are going to do a smash or pass or rate me, it takes time, you need to plan. Like, there's a lot that goes into, like, a video. Like, you just see it there, it's 20 minutes, and you think that somebody just woke up, got cameras, got 20 people to stand in a line and be rated. No, it takes time and hard work. So, don't think starting a YouTube channel is not going to consume your time. It will. So, you must be willing to let it consume your time okay and then another thing is editing is not hard it just takes time to learn i always get people ask me how do you edit your videos lucky for me my videos don't require too much editing um they they like they just yeah they don't need edit like i can post this video without editing it which i will so it doesn't require much time and it also goes by the editing app you use so i use InShot. so that's the editing app i used to edit all my videos everything it's in shot you can use iMovie is it iMovie yeah iMovie if you have an iphone it works really well for people i just haven't learned how to use that app honestly i tried it didn't work out i'm an in shot baby that's where i was born and bred and raised so i'm sticking to my in shot and then number five collabs really mean fuck all if people don't find you interesting so people oh will always like guys people like fight to for collabs with like other big youtubers or big people like they 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 be hustling for collabs and everything like that and then they think that a collab will change their lives or change the their channel and everything like that and the brutal truth and the real like truth behind collabs is that it is not going to help you in any way if you yourself are not interesting. The mistake people do when they do collabs is they do videos based on the other person instead of themselves. So what you're doing now is you put, okay, example, you make, you want to collab with me. Now your collab with me is asking me questions. So the video is based on me and it's not in on, on my channel or anything like that. So all my viewers and all the people who are going to want to see Mami Dearest, they're going there to see Mami Dearest. They're not they're going there to see you. They're going there to see Mami Dearest. Now when they get there, once you have now brought these people there, what you're supposed to then do is make them see you. 
make them see who you are realize who are you and make them interested in you but the biggest mistake was what did you do you made it about mommy and dearest and now they're just going to see the person who they wanted to see they initially they have learned nothing about you nothing has caught their eye about you so all they do is that video will get lots of views but very few people will subscribe from that video and you will still be in the same place even if you collabed with like the biggest of biggest people like you could bring aka you could bring whoever you bring you can bring them trust but people won't subscribe if they've learned nothing about you if nothing about you stood out and made them want to click subscribe so if you're going to do a collab be smart about it make a collab and make sure people see you and like give them you don't give them the person you're collabing with all they there for is just traction so make them see you you see like yeah like i've i've like i've like personally i've not asked for collabs but i've been blessed with being around so many youtubers that naturally we collabed like my vlogs you would find big youtubers and everything like that but at the end of the day it was pompous vlogs it was not about king omar it was not about whoever was in those vlogs it was not about them it was about me that's why people ended up falling in love with me and subscribing to my channel because they got to know me as a person even though the person who brought them to the video were the other youtubers but who they got to know was me so collabs mean focal if you're not an interesting person oh i'm um, guys i'm giving like top tier advice i give us your take on a pen and paper and write all right because oh wow yo guys youtube should call me for sermons yes says i can give you a youtube lecture and i've only been doing it for six months but anyways it's because of all the knowledge i've gathered for the from the people around me um uh, number six there will be a dry spell okay guys when you are a content creator and you are booming there'll be a moment where it's tall it's quiet there's no growth like you said i'm scared i'm gonna stay in forty thousand for like a year like it's possible because i can stay at forty thousand subscribers for a year it's totally possible a dry spells will, will come they will come you will sit where you are for a very long time for a very long time but then don't give up during those dry spells trust me it'll pick up again people will remember you again like people will be interested in you again so like don't give up moral of the story don't be giving up on anything you do it's this phone that always switches off every time okay number seven oh thank god i did eight lessons and it made this video like long enough number seven uh people genuinely care about everything oh yeah uh, when I started a YouTube channel, I didn't know people would care about like what's going, like what's genuinely going on in, with me. And people care, like, like they genuinely care. And it's not a bad thing. And it's not like they care, like, oh my god, they care about me. No, like people genuinely care. Like, I didn't think people would, f like, I thought people would just watch my videos and be like, okay, that girl's cool. But now it's like people watch my videos, say that girl's cool, and then genuinely care like about how I'm doing, how I'm feeling. Like they 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 care. Like oh guys, it always touches me every time someone like writes paragraphs to me. Like I'm sorry if I don't reply, ne? Please forgive me, ne? But I love it. If you want me to like reply, please write your paragraphs in the comment section. I will reply. I read all my comments. Like I'm within the comment section because yes, girl. If you check all my comments before, you'll see her a girl is within her comments. So if you want to like guarantee, if you want to know that I really read your stuff, comment down below. I will like the comment, whether you be negative, positive. But anyways, I don't like negativity. So if you're gonna be negative, I'll keep it to yourself but anyways comment whatever you want to comment it's freedom of what what in this country it's democratic country here um number eight the last item is that youtube is stressful child it is so stressful guys remaining creative is so stressful like always thinking about what's the next big idea or what is the next thing like guys honestly every time i post a video i find myself to be posting nonsense i think i'm boring because i'm not thinking this is like big i haven't done anything big yet and i'm glad that i am where i am and i think i haven't done anything big imagine when i feel like yo yeah i did something big uh, then uh, 
it's gonna go crazy it's gonna be wild on youtube that day i'm gonna be trending hashtag trending but like it's so stressful like to remain creative to always think what's the next big idea like oh guys you don't want people to fall out of love with you but now thank god god blessed me as that my channel is based on me so i will never stop being me so being creative is not as stressful as other people other people it's genuinely stressful because they not people are not there for them they are there for entertainment like how can they entertain them and everything like that i know i'm also here for entertainment and stuff entertainment purposes but it's me i'm the entertainment now imagine like something external is the entertainment and you're there for that so now i have to find a way to keep producing that and then if it gets boring i need to find something else to do that will still draw you guys to my channel stress so if you are a creative person start a youtube channel if you are not creative yay yeah, girl oh boy because wow these streets are cold people are brutal guys this is south africa people don't care about you child so mm, if you're not ready don't be ready oh i can even add item number nine don't have a small heart if you're gonna have a small heart if your heart is going to be like this if you can't handle hate you can't handle negativity you can't handle a drama don't do it don't do it because you are going to be like if you're depressed if you're a depressed person as it is like you're already going through whatever your mental health is not well and it's an external like form like it's caused by external circumstances like um what people think about you what people have said to you and everything like that and that makes you down and how you feel about yourself if you're not self-confident or anything like that like like not like self-confident but like on your journey to it don't do it because people are going to break you down and make you naked on the internet like you will legit feel like you've been stripped down of your dignity of your pride of your everything so if you are not ready for people to take everything from you if you're not strong enough to stand while that is happening you are not built for any sort of entertainment industry and live it alone because i would rather you be happy than chase fame because it comes at a price but anyways thank you guys for watching my video you know what to do you know you must subscribe you must like you must comment thank you for 40k once again mwah, mwah, mwah.